if you've done food delivery for any amount of time, you know that your car can start smelling quite a bit. It can be rank. Well, I'm going to use this Meguiar's Air Refresher, and um, we're going to see if it takes out the smell of fast food in my car. My name is John Wilkerson from Ride Up State, and um, yeah, I just grabbed one of these. My car's not smelling that bad. You know, I use I use the Ozium, and uh, it, it works great on a, uh, you know, when you need it quickly to get rid of a, a, you know, if you're delivering fish or something like that. But it somehow, the smell of food just creeps into your car. So I'm going to set this thing up. It takes about 15 minutes to discharge. Uh, I'm going to do a time lapse of it fogging. It's basically a fogger of it fogging up the car. And then I'll come back and tell you about the result. The way you do it is you turn on your vents. It recirculates the air for 15 minutes. And then you have to air the vehicle out after that point. So we'll see how it goes. I got to get my masks out, out of here. We don't want my masks absorbing this uh, these chemicals. And we'll see how it goes. All right. So I will need to get out of the vehicle for this. First thing we're going to do is start it up. And because it's a Prius, I think it should stay running. We're going to turn our fan all the way up. You can probably hear it. And we're going to put it on recirculate. I'm going to turn it down to about 70 degrees so we're not... Um, got head and foot recirculation going on. Sorry, I'm touching the camera here, folks. But I got it set on 70 because I don't want the uh, vehicle to um, the, the heat from the vehicle to overheat my phone. And I'm going to pop this off and come back in 15 minutes and we'll see how it goes. So I'm back, and now I'm supposed to air out the vehicle and turn off the heat. Now, ooh, let's adjust this. All right, so I'm back, uh, and now I'm supposed to air out the vehicle for another 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to stop it now, and then um, we'll resume this, you know, like in the office or whatever. There goes the motor turning on. <laughs> All right, so we're back in my office here, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about how this worked out. Um, the car smells great. It smells like black chrome, whatever that is. Um, a few tips for when you're going to do this. You need to make sure you have removed anything from your vehicle that has created the smell. That means you're going to have to do, first of all, a very thorough vacuuming. You don't want any loose fries hanging around or crumbs or anything. Do a real good job vacuuming. If you've got stains from where you've spilled food or anything like that, you're going to need to take care of those. Get some carpet cleaner, clean that up, and make sure that you have done as much as possible to eliminate the source of the odor. You know, the odor is going to seep into your carpet. It's going to get in the headliner. And that's what this is designed to do. It's designed to go in there and I guess at a molecular level, bind to that odor, that organic odor, and get rid of it. If you have any kind of allergies, you're going, probably going to want to check and make sure that this is safe for you. If you have an issue, let's say if you get your car detailed, and they use any kind of chemicals and it sets off your allergies, this stuff is going to set off your allergies. You absolutely, of course, do not want to be in the vehicle while this is going off. And you do want to make sure you air out your vehicle 
afterwards. Just like if you spray osium in your car, you don't you want to make sure you roll down the windows eventually to get that chemical out. It's the same way with this, except it's a lot more concentrated. Again, this is the Myers Air Refresher. You can pick these up at a big box store. You can get them online. If you're doing a lot of food delivery, you may want to do this on a quarterly basis. This one only cost me about $7, I think, six or $7. And I think that's a, a pretty good deal for getting rid of the odor. I've seen a lot online, uh, car de detailers saying that this is a really cheap way. If it doesn't eliminate the odor, it will mask over it and you won't have to drive around a car smelling like gross fast food anymore. My name's John from Ride Upstate. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. And as always, remember, just because you're in a small market, it doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits.